Welcome everybody to the Tarot Scopes for August 2023. Yep, it's August already. Well, we have some interesting things going on um, this month. And the first thing I'd like to talk about is the Venus retrograde in Leo. This can make us kind of look a little more deeply at ourselves and the things that we value. So we might be um, thinking about a different hairstyle or a different clothing style or a different style altogether, or working on our appearance. Leo likes to be seen. Um, and I would say that it might be a time to do the research and the thinking and figuring out what you'll be comfortable with, but it maybe isn't the best time to make any big drastic changes. Um, work it out and see if you'll be comfortable first. Also, we've had that nodal shift into um, Aries and Libra. So there is kind of this push forward, hurry up Aries fiery energy, um, but that's tempered by Libra seeking justice and fairness. Then we also have Mars in Virgo. So they're not exactly the best partners. <laughs> But I do see quite a lot of attention to detail with the things that we feel passionate about. So again, I think this can work to help us um, refine or define our new styles and our new passions. We also have Jupiter and Taurus, so we're trying to um, work on expanding and settling our foundations and again kind of making things a little more comfortable so i'll see some people who are really looking at their careers looking at their style and kind of revamping and regrouping again it's a great time to make plans but not the best time to just do things without a plan right so not ready shoot aim Make your plan, make your list, check it twice. Remember, anytime we see retrograde, we want to redo, reassess, and then move forward. So now let's get on to the scopes for each sign. <laughs> I need glasses, I'm afraid. It's my over 50 headband, but it does help. Aries, Three of Swords. It has been said that one of the signs of insanity is repeating the exact same action, but expecting a different outcome. This month you're being asked to stop hurting yourself. Let go of whatever it is that's been making you feel upset and sad. Time to move on and free yourself from that pain. Remember, you're gonna have to change your action, or at least your reaction, in order to find that different outcome that you're seeking. Taurus, the magician. I sense you will feel on top of your game and ready to face the family escapades for the rest of the summer. Remember, be confident and know you have all you need to make yourself happy. Draw some lines and make sure that others know not to cross them. I feel that things are going to go smoothly for you and you will actually be able to enjoy some of this time. Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. An offer for some very good earned money is coming your way. The trick will be to knit that hole in your schedule to make time to take full advantage of this offer. The Venus retrograde will help you if you let it. So things should work out for you to make that good start and recoup some of the funds that you would have rather not taken out of savings previously. Cancer, temperance. You spend a lot of time advising and caring for others. Now it's time to pay close attention to every detail of what's being asked of you. You might have a bit of time to do some healing and nurturing for yourself if you're mindful. Pay attention to the gifts that you have and allow yourself some freedom. You deserve this free time. Allow yourself some rest and renewal, allowing to refill your personal energy 
And if you slow down enough, you might even find you have time to meditate again. And that's a great way to connect with the inner you and fulfill even more healing and inner strength. Leo, three of pentacles. Loads of work being done in your home to make it more personal sanctuary. I would advise you that you should keep in mind to be a little more social whenever possible. Try to stay focused. And if you're more social, you will stay focused. Since you are really loving your space more, I can see you wanted to be a little more reclusive, but you might not realize just how many folks really want to see you. Your challenge will be to balance your schedule and make sure to take care of you. Virgo, the fool. You always allow others the benefit of the doubt and encourage them. You tell them they can do it. Well, time to take your own advice, dear Virgo. You can do it. Just put your amazing mercurial mind to it. Make your plan, map out what it is you want to accomplish, and then get on with it. Libra, Wheel of Fortune. Time to perk up, dear Libra. You've been overthinking and overanalyzing for way too long. This process can make things be a real drag. Work to relax and go with the flow. You have a great way of centering yourself if you allow it. Listen to yourself and try not to speak negatively to yourself anymore. See all that you have to use and make things better. Scorpio, Ace of Swords. Maybe you've been feeling a little out of sorts lately, kind of like your energy is gone or you just can't keep up with things like you used to. You should see things slowing down a little bit more so you can regain some of your personal strength. Even though you put a lot of effort into making the best of the situations, it has tapped you out a little bit and spent some of your energy. This month would be a great time to allow yourself to recharge. Sagittarius, Six of Pentacles. Decision time. If you continue along with these two conflicting ways, things that you've been trying to work towards being in the middle of, you might lose both things. So you're being asked to rethink. Pick that which really is important and dear to you. Maybe it's a choice between two lovers or two jobs or something that you have known for a while you're going to have to make choices about. I have faith that you'll pick what's right for you for your highest good. Capricorn, two of pentacles, choices. Oh no. You may feel like you're a little overworked and spread kind of thin. Not to worry. Instead of being forced to make a choice between two things like Sag, you are in a place where you can go ahead and do them both. I know it's a lot of work, but you'll feel so pleased with yourself when you get the results. And it really is best right now for you to just keep really busy so you can let negativity pass you by. Aquarius, Page of Wands. Time to apply your skills and past experiences to make the most of present situations. For the first two weeks of the month, the sun is sending you a little extra drive. Use it. Use it to start or even finish a project that you've been mulling through for a while. It also looked like there is some financial gain to be had if you get off your butt and get her done. Pisces, justice. Oh darn, karmic energy. On our path, we learn two valuable things. First, do as you will, and then, and it harm none. You also learn what you give out comes back to you. This month would be a time that your karma will catch up with you. If you've been ignoring what you know inside is right and doing things just to be nice or not so nice, take cover. 
But on the other hand, if you have been helpful and kind and built some good karma, you will enjoy a great karmic reward. That's it for the month of August. Take care, everybody. Please remember, Psychic Fair is always the last Saturday of the month from 12 to 5. And you can catch Anton and I on our magical Mondays at noon on YouTube. Peace and blessed be.